He was only 44 years when he passed on 50 years ago. But his was a life short but well lived. So Metrofile this week will begin in Ijebu de Ogun State, where business tycoon and the first Ashiwaju of Ijebu land, the late chief Samuel Olatubo Sonshonibare, was honored by his children, family and friends 50 years after his death for all he did. The Cathedral Church of Our Savior in Ijebode, Ogun State, Southwest Nigeria, played host to dignitaries both from within and outside the state as they came to honor the memory of business mogul and the first Ashiwaju of Ijebu land, Chief Samuel Olatubos Shonibare, who died 50 years ago. His children and their spouses were joined by traditional rulers from Ijebu and its environs, led by the Abu Jale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land, Obasiki Raditono. Other dignitaries include the chairman of FCMB, Otumba Shubomi Balogu, chairman of Troika Group, Mr. Biodu Shubanjo, and his wife, Joyce, former presidential candidate, Chief Olufalaye, and other well-meaning Nigerians. The late Chief Shonibara is the man they are celebrating, even though he died 50 years ago at the age of 44. His legacies live on in the minds of his children and those who are opportuned to be in contact with him during his life on earth. And to this end, his children celebrate a short but well-lived life. And with the singing and dancing, they end of the service. From there to the Shonibara family compound, where more guests arrived and were treated to a great reception.
Chief Samuel Olatsuboson should bury until his death on the 17th of January 1964 was a politician and a businessman with businesses all over the country. He was also the first to build an estate in Nigeria. His first project was the popular Shunibari estate along the Bolaji Bank Anthony Way, Ikeja, Lagos, southwest Nigeria. His children, who were quite young when their father died, say he was a man way ahead of his peers. They capture the life and times of their father in a book that will soon be launched. <laughs> When we interviewed people who knew him because we were young, they speak of him with such awe and tremendous affection that he was truly an inspiration to all of us. Business moguls, royalty, family. He was exceptionally generous. And we have written a book which we are excited about which has been very well researched, a historical document that will be presented to the public. His son, Otumba Labashu Nibare, spoke on the pain of not having a father at a tender age. To tell you the truth, I didn't cry for my father until I was 16 years of age. Because when he died when I was 8, I didn't really know the full impact. But when I was 16, and I saw that other young boys had fathers oh that's when i wept but i was fortunate enough to have a mother was very strong widowed at the age of 40 with eight children to bring up on her own she was both my mother and my father and without her i don't know how we would have survived a fenny fairy chieftain chief ayuadi banjo was one of the contemporaries of late chief samuel shunibare they were the real conscientious politicians who created the modern Nigeria. It is a pity people like him are born. And if they have been alive, policy probably would not be as rotten as it now. They were people who practice politics with morality. It is not a policy where people who have no principles. You will be in party A today, in the afternoon you are PGP, in the evening you are party C. Sorry, but I never did that. As the day progressed, many more personalities had arrived. I remember that he crossed path with my father. He was also a great entrepreneur, and my father learned a lot from him. And they were great friends because they were in produce. They have a common um, business acumen, and that's really wonderful. The children of late Samuel Trinidad then hit the dance floor. I'm going to say, put the 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 I